Hello, this is Beatles World News. Today's story is on the following topic. 60 years since Stoke gig where Beatles penned early track. Love Me Do and Please Please Me were already in the charts. 60 years ago, Stoke on Trent fell in love with the Beatles. They played five concerts in and around the city in 1963, starting in January, by the end of the year, they were British sensations. They first played that year at the King's Hall Assembly Room, at the Town Hall in Stoke. Their first album wasn't even out yet, but singles, Love Me Do, and Please Please Me, were chart hits, and they were in demand all over the country. Stoke was their second show on the 26th of January, having just made their way over from Macclesfield. They found the time to start writing Misery while they were backstage, which was originally meant for teen star Helen Shapiro. It would make its way onto their own album less than two months later. They returned as Helen Shapiro's support act at the Gormont Theatre in Hanley in March, and again as part of a Merseybeat Ensemble concert at the King's Hall in April. But it's with the fourth and fifth visits, on the cusp of true Beatlemania breaking out, that the Sentinel starts to take notice. In May, they came back to the Gormont, this time with Roy Orbison in tow. There were two shows that day, and fans bought out all 4,000 available tickets for the venue's busiest 24 hours ever. Stokey's dedication to the rising stars impressed George Harrison. This has been the best visit, he told the Sentinel between shows, as, scores of teenagers were calling for them below the dressing room window. Three girls even managed to get into the Beatles' dressing room that day via the fire escape. Roy Orbison was originally intended to be the headliner for this tour, but ended up overshadowed by the increasingly popular band. After the feast of winter and spring, it was famine for fans as they waited for the next local gig. It would come in October, two days before the appearance at the London Palladium that would be viewed by 15 million. Their final concert in Stoke-on-Trent was at Trentham Garden's magnificent ballroom. The boys were smuggled into a secret entrance, as Touts sold seven and a half shilling tickets for a monstrous five pounds to desperate fans waiting outside. Despite the heavy police presence, there were even dogs stationed outside the Beatles' dressing room, according to the Sentinel. Chaos soon broke out. A crush began during the 30-minute performance, with many fainting, and three girls were hospitalized. Dozens were treated by Red Cross volunteers, and a planned autograph session was cancelled. The Trentham Gardens entertainment manager at the time, Mr. Johnson, said, I have never seen anything like last night in 23 years. If I had enough tickets, I could have filled Stoke City football ground, he added. He'd never get to test his theory, as this was the last visit that the Beatles would make to Stoke on Trent. Thank you for reading to the end. We will continue to post this information, so please subscribe to our channel.